<laughs> Look at that. Conway checkers. That something that was explained in a number file video. So, it's so also called Con Conway checkers. <laughs> uh, there's a yeah. And Simon made this game in processing. In processing. So I'm going to have a... Um, so Conway Checkers obviously includes a checkerboard. <laughs> so, um... Uh, but there's actually a line in the middle. Uh, just straight across the middle. Okay. The checkerboard. Well, that also happens in the middle of a normal checkerboard. If, if, if that's the box, you know, yeah. then you open it up. And those are the two halves of the box. Okay. So what's the point of the game? So you put a line in the middle. And, it, and by the way, the way we met it is the board is infinite. Okay. That's the, math, the mathematical way to look at it. Yeah. But I can't draw infinitely many things, of course. So, Obviously. Um, basically... Uh, so I just made it eight by eight. So basically, what I've done is I've put a red line over here, and um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some checkers. Mm -hmm. And you do that by pressing what? You're pressing the C key on my keyboard, but not the S key. C. The C key. Okay. For configure. Oh, for configure. Okay. So. And, okay. So now you've got something like, how many? I've got, uh, I, I, this one do... 11 checkers? This one do anything... Uh, I'll just uh, show this as an example. So basically, what you can... There's, there's only one thing you can do always. You can jump over a neighbor... If you don't land on, on something, by the way. Mm-hmm. Um, um, and make that neighbor disappear. So, and your um, objective is to get as far as you can to the top of the board. Yeah. So this, I can, I can select uh, one of the checkers, by the way. It's pretty smart. Um... Yeah, go ahead. And then... So you're sort of like highlighting it. What I... So I'm... Yeah, there's uh, a little blue... And for example, I can move to the left. Line So So it. jumped over this checker and then made yeah, that checker disappear. That's, that's how you move. To move higher up, you basically have to jump over another checker. Yeah, and you can only uh, put checkers underneath the line, by the way. Yep. So, so as far as I understand, it's all about trying to guess how many checkers you need to get as far as possible and in what configuration you should put them. Because that's also important, not only how many, but also their relation to one another. Right? Yep. And so basically, uh, I, I'm going to show you the first few things you can do. So first, I'm going to put two checkers. Mm-hmm. Uh, just right in the middle, vertically. Now, yeah. if I select this checker, I just, of course, just move it up. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's how you get that's to row That's true, Hill. How can you get to row two? So, I, for that, you'll need four checkers. Okay. So... So I'm gonna oops, specifically, oops. specifically this way. This way, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you uh, move this one up. This one to the right. This one up. Oh, I see. So how did you reach row number four? Row number is the first. Uh, I'm gonna show how to reach row number three. So I'm gonna have um. Uh, Eight checkers this time. So that one is gonna go over there. That one is gonna go over there. 
Uh, that one is going to go over there. 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 If I only that one is going to go over there. <laughs> oh, look at that. I got the row three. See, almost one. Almost one. But didn't. By the way, in this game, you can't win. So. Yeah, I know, but let's just say the objective is to get to the to the fourth row. So uh, I I did I don't remember how to get to the fourth row, but uh, so you, you have need a little cheat sheet. Checkers to get to the fourth row, and this um. So this is in the the configuration, and here are the moves. Oh, you've got them frame by frame. Are you going to put all of these on GitHub? Or is this just going to stay in the YouTube film for everybody to see? Oh, look at that. Oop, and the last one. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And is there a specific... Why that configuration works? Is there a specific formula for that or a specific algorithm no it's a real is game. it just trial and error it's a real game you you have to play it there is no way to find a pattern in there okay there is a pattern in that like the uh uh, reaching row four includes reaching row three, which includes reaching row two, which includes reaching row one. But all right, hmm, I, I see. That's that. There are no other patterns. And, and, and by the way, so the sequence uh, goes like this: two for reaching row one, three for reaching row two. No, no, four for reaching row two. Eight for reaching row three, twenty for reaching row four, and despite the undefined for reaching row five. <laughs> undefined in which sense? That nobody knows. Not undefined. You can't. Do you can't do it. You can't. Oh, it's just like, like it's not a number. Uh, yeah, yeah. You can't. You cannot go to row five. Oh. Disappointingly undefined for row five. And can you, yeah. Simon, before we go, can you show a little bit of the code as well? So actually, because you, it's, a, it's a long program, actually. I well, we're not going to take it uh, well, line right. by line, we, but we just in general. Lines of code, <laughs> so, um, Everything's going to be on GitHub. But because it's Java, because it's processing, you have to actually download the GitHub code to be able to play it yourself, right? So basically, uh, here are my variables. This is, this is just for recording. You can ignore that. So, and you, and this, this is actually how I save those files there. Um, um. Yeah, go ahead. And so uh, the columns equals e. e Rows equals eight, and then I have the scale, which I'm gonna show later. This is all I do in setup. Then I'm drawing the grid, oh, which is a checkerboard pattern. This is just a for drawing the checkerboard pattern. Ah, here's uh, where I draw the checkers. Here's where I'm highlighting one of the one of the checkers. This is where I'm. Uh, um, actually, uh, during the line across the middle, um, this is just for seeing the file, you can ignore that. Um, uh, this is just for going in and that. What? What? Uh, uh, this is just, uh, this really just for the seeing the file, anymore. you can ignore that. You can this, ignore that, you said. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is just for recording, you can uh, ignore that. Um. He pressed. Uh, it was just for recording. You can remember that. And then uh, this is where I'm. Uh, I can configure the. Uh, con 
uh, configure the board. This is where I can delete checkers off the board. This is where I can record and ignore that. Um, recording. What do you mean for the recording? You can ignore that. I don't really understand recording, what that means. Because recording, that's how I save these files there. Ah, um, that's so, how you uh, save the files of the moves to get to row number four. Okay. So, and then over here you can, um, it, it's, this is the code to move. And this is where I can highlight a, uh, in mouse press, I can just highlight a, so I, I gotta play out, play out those moves to get to row four one more time. Okay. Okay. Why is it called Conway Checkers? Because Conway is the guy who invented the game of life, right? Did he, he also invented this thing. Ta-da! Another number file project coded.